I've analyzed the best FM23 tactics and found 10 tactical trends you should know about. I've taken all of the highest rated tactics on FM base and looked at the formations, roles and instructions that they use to see what works and does not work on this year's game. My name is Coach Rohan and let's get right into it. Let's first off have a look at the formations that were used and it looks like 4 at the back was king. 90% of the highest rated tactics used 4 defenders, with only 2 of them changing it up. A surprising statistic, especially when compared to real life. Just look at a high rated competition like the Serie A, where a majority of the teams use a 3 at the back system. This tactical development doesn't seem to have translated to the game yet, as all the OP tactics seem to agree on using 4 defenders. Interestingly enough, the two tactics that use the 3 at the back system both use two defensive midfielders, which leads nicely into my next tactical trend. Defensive midfielders are awesome. A staggering 95% of the OP tactics use either one, two or even three defensive midfielders. It was surprising to see that the most commonly used formation, a 4-2-3-1, which is often used with one or two central midfielders, was exclusively used with two defensive midfielders. So if you're struggling with the midfield in your tactic, you can always add another defensive midfielder. And for the final tactical trends regarding formations, it seems that narrow formations are lacking this year. With the change of more chaotic play in the midfield in this year's game, you might have expected more high-performing tactics to overcrowd the central areas and exploit the chaos. But that really doesn't seem to be the case. 85% of the OP tactics use both wingers and wingbacks, so using the full width of the pitch is as important as ever. Now onto the tactical trends regarding roles, to see which roles are seemingly crucial to create an overpowered tactic. Starting from the top, there seems to be only one real option for the striking role, an advanced forward. 95% of all the OP tactics use either one or more advanced forwards, with only one tactic changing it up and using only a deep line forward. Running into space and getting in behind the defense seems to be crucial in this year's game, which is supported by the most commonly used tactical instructions, which I'll show you later in the video. So if you've got a striker like Shiru up top, you might want to consider slapping some rocket boots on him to get him flying into space. Now onto the other side of the pitch, where we've got our first tactical trend that is shared across 100% of the OP tactics. Every single one of the high-performing tactics used at least one ball-playing defender as their central defender. Gone are the days where the only thing a centre-back had to do was crunch his opponents and boot the ball upfield. If you want to create a truly elite tactic in this year's game, you're gonna need to have at least one centre-back that truly embraces the possession side of the game. Which leads nicely into our next tactical trend, since your goalkeeper can't be stuck to his line. 95% of all the elite tactics use the sweeper keeper in nets, with only one tactic using a standard goalkeeping role. Now it isn't crucial for your keeper to play a big part in the build up for your team, since a lot of the tactics use the sweeper keeper on defense, but it does seem to be very important for your keeper to get off from the line, so I hope that your team has the next Manuel Neuer. Now we've seen a lot of trends for roles that seem to be crucial for overpowered tactics, but I was surprised to see one type of role not being as important as I would have expected. The playmaker. Only 15% of the elite tactics used any kind of playmaking role, with most tactics preferring a more customizable role, like a defensive midfielder on support, or a more mobile role, like a Segundo Falante. This only provides more evidence that this year's game prefers high-paced and mobile tactics, which is only confirmed by the trends in the tactical instructions. Let's have a look at those now. The first tactical trend, with 100% of the OP tactics using this, is tapping that like button. Nah, I'm just kidding. For our first tactical instructions trends, I've analyzed all the mentalities used, and there only seems to be three viable options. Balanced, positive or attacking. Now this shouldn't come as a surprise, as FM has already struggled in the last couple of years to make more defensive tactics really powerful. I had some hopes that this year's changes in off-the-ball tactical instructions would have made a difference, but the OP tactics seem to show otherwise. So I'm sorry Mourinho, going more defensive just isn't the way to go. But luckily gegenpressing isn't still overpowered, right? Right? 
I am sorry to say that gay compressing is as overpowered as ever. A resounding 100% of the elite tactics use the combination of high press, much more often pressing and prevents short goalkeeping distribution. Not a single tactic used a low block. I guess if we want to create those really overpowered tactics in this year's game, we got a squad like Bielsa and create those ever pressing teams. And if you think that pressing is the only thing that needs to be high tempo, have a look at the next tactical trend. Of all the high performing tactics, 95% of them use the higher tempo passing style combined with passing into space. So in this year's game, it seems to be important to have players that can think fast and distribute the ball quickly to punish opponents that leave space open. Now something that I do want to add is that you don't have to use these tactical instructions. With a solid tactical plan, you can make a lot of roles, positions and instructions work. These trends do show you, however, what seems to work the best in this year's game. So you can take it into account the next time you make a stellar tactic. Now, if you want to see one of these OP tactics in use, check out this video where I use one of the tactics to try and prove Ronaldo wrong with some of the best wonder kits in FM23. I'll see you on the next video.